Hey guys, welcome back to another video, another episode here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Action Clutch Clutch Kit and the Flywheel. If it does chatter, all that stuff we're going to go over, we're going to go on our drive so you guys can hear everything. That being said, before we go on a ride and I explain to you the whole review, if you guys want to skip over this, go ahead. I'm going to leave a timestamp here, but I do want to explain a little backstory of how I actually came to buy this clutch and everything that was happening wrong with the car that led to me buying the clutch uh, that maybe I didn't even need a clutch but I ended up getting it. Apparently this car only has one cigarette lighter. Do all you manual G owners only have one? Like, can you let me know? Cause in my automatic G35, I had three cigarette lighters and in this one only one, like at least two, you know? So, so let me actually go ahead and explain like what happened with this G35. I didn't actually drive it the first day I got it. I had my friend uh, pick it up and drive it back here to Sacramento. Uh, I realized that the clutch was slipping or like it was slipping, you know? The car would rev up, but the car wouldn't, wouldn't go. But then it would gain traction again and then the car would go, you know? Like if you drive slow, the clutch will grab but if you really stomp on it, like if you're racing or something, like it would just rev up and it would slip and then it would grab, you know? So I wasn't really getting that, that torquey feel. It, it felt really, oh, like it sucked. Like it really sucked, right? So I was like, damn, I need to get a clutch, man. Like this thing's slipping. It's like, and then I'm in my mind thinking that it had the stock clutch. So I'm like, it's, a, it's about time, right? Fast forward to when we're switching the clutch and a couple episodes back, if you guys haven't watched it, it's right here when I switched out the clutch with one of my friends. Um, we actually come to find out that this actually had a Z1 clutch kit with like an OEM flywheel. It was all pretty good condition, brand new, so it was kind of strange that this was not working. We went and replaced a front cover plate because my friend said it had a little groove that's not supposed to be there and that could be causing the problem. So we switched that out, we put in the new clutch, we got it ready to go to the meet. I, the Paul Walker made a couple videos. When I was driving to the meet, it was worse than it was before. Damn, what the hell? And it actually caused me to get stranded and and like I couldn't move the car it was like if it was a neutral it would not go in, it would go into gear but it would not like attach the clutch and the clutch was just burning then my mechanic came or my friend and he figured out that it was the clutch pedal that was adjusted bad and that was actually what could have caused the clutch to slip at the very beginning maybe i didn't even need a clutch uh, that's what led me to buy the action clutch kit because i thought it was a clutch but it wasn't the clutch it was it could be the clutch pedal we're gonna go to this place where we always take pictures you know so we could get a little quick thumbnail pic but uh if i do now that we're here in the streets i do want to talk about a little bit about the chatter here it does happen when it's a uh, below like i would say two let me see if i could even go one more and it's when right here you can hear that you can see it a little bit you see but it's only when you're on super i only hear when you're on super high gear and you like you could go one more under you know it's like when you can ride on two but you're on three that's usually when you hear the chatter uh once you're above two you're pretty much good to go man it sounds really really good really clean but uh yeah like say we're cruising right now going 20 miles per hour in that um then, and we're in like third gear or something, then it'll chatter a little bit because it's like under two. But look, free road. Oh, we slip. Oh man, baby. Yo. Oh, that is sick as fuck, baby. That is sick as fuck, baby. Downshift. I'm gonna show you my downshifts right now, bro. This is so fun, bro. Honestly, hella fun, bro. Trust me. It's like the, well, dude, when he fixed my car, when I got stuck over there in that hill and I couldn't get to the meet and I got stuck, holy crap, dude, when he fixed it and the car, the car just felt alive, bro. Even if it's completely stock, it, it felt so good, bro. I was so excited. I've never had such a smile in my life before. I think the, 
Last time I had such a big smile is when I finished tuning my Golden G35 and I could feel that drastic push and extra torque than that felt. But you can get that same excitement from just a stock car driving a manual. Imagine when I tuned this, imagine when I freaking boosted, dude. Holy shit, bro. I kind of want to get the new, the new 400Z though, man. It's got the freaking Q60 engine, bro, I think that they said. Freaking, uh, freaking some inner, bigger, Heat exchanger, bro, some better downpipe, something like that, bro. You'll be rocking, bro. But yeah, dude, this car feels so good. Also, I have a question for you guys. When you guys are trying to save gas, um, what do you guys usually shift at? Right now, I don't know much, so I'm just usually when I try to drive normal, I'm shifting either two and a half or three. I'm shifting around two and a half and three. Um, but when should I shift, man? But, but yeah, guys, when you're driving on the road here, uh, absolutely no chatter whatsoever. Like I said, usually the chatter you only hear when you're driving in residential streets, and that's when you're going super low, uh, you know, speeds, super low speeds, and you're in an extra higher gear. Like I said, if you're going 15 miles per hour or 20, and you're like in third gear or fourth gear, you'll definitely hear chatter when it's like below one or like around one. You'll definitely hear the chatter. It's not too bad, but it's there, you know? But besides that, regular driving, first gear, you slam it, bro. No, no chatter whatsoever. And then he did adjust the clutch pedal, so the engagement point is uh, lower now, is lower uh, compared to last time where the engagement point was at the very tippy end of releasing the pedal, it's like at the end. But now it's, it's a lot lower, it's a lot better. And uh, yeah, dude, it's just, oh my God, bro. I love driving it bro i literally just want to go out and drive it that's all i want to do bro it's just so fun i do ha I, I i've already had one encounter where you know we have traffic in the freeway and you know that that definitely isn't fun you know you're over here trying to uh, at least since i'm a beginner i was a lot in first so i was doing this you know with the pedal a lot uh because it was just a lot of traffic i couldn't even be in second gear because you know that'd be too I just couldn't so uh, but yeah dude this thing's amazing bro we're gonna take a picture right here baby so this is how the car's looking right now let me turn off the lights a little bit so that I don't kill my battery I'll be right back but yeah guys the clutch feels really really good like I said it's super smooth when you release the clutch smoothly if you release it super fast like if you were racing it'll have a little jump to it unless you're racing and you're actually freaking putting your pedal to the ground and uh, you shift fast then yeah it'll it'll be kind of smooth but yeah dude I'm loving the clutch it's not super rough it's really really it works perfectly fine I, I don't know I don't know how the OEM works or even the Z1 that it had in there but at least the action clutch uh, it works perfectly fine I know I saw one comment over there that said that uh, you guys said that the action clutch you had it and it only lasted like three months or something crazy like that uh, let me know for those of you guys who have had action clutch in the past also I started my first I also started uh, my first day at my job it's a part-time job because I'm trying to actually dedicate a lot of time to this channel and so when I'm not working I'm either doing a video or editing for YouTube so um, but honestly if I find that I have a little bit of extra time I might just go ahead and get that full-time job and see what happens but uh, I'm trying my best man I'm really trying to make it work but I feel it I feel it we got a grasp brothers we I think we can make it up on the dash and here we go we're gonna dash up to second look gas it Oh, that one went a little rough. I think I needed to gas it a little bit more. But uh, let's see. Let's brake a little bit. Let's uh, slow down. We're in third gear. Let's shift to second. There you go. You just gotta gas it a little bit more, I guess. Uh, second gear really shot up um, so like when at least when I was in an automatic with the G's uh, when I was in manual mode right you can see when you're shifting like when you're at three and then you downshift to second it the car automatically rev matches for you right in the auto um, and it will shoot up around five or five and a half you know so um, 
So when I rev, when I gas it right now, you want to gas it around five or six, you know, where it's gonna be at in the next gear for it to rev match. Uh, but right now I just freaking gassed it to like four or three, and it didn't. It, it still needed that extra gas, so it had that jerk. You know, that's what happened there. But if you gas it enough, let it go. So right now we're like around three. So if I gas it, if I if when I want to gas it, I want to be around five. Look. You see, that was smooth. That was smooth right there. It barely reached a little bit below five, and, and it shifted smooth. You know, no jerk. But yeah, guys. Anyways, we're about to head home right now. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you guys.